Hey everyone, Ian West here from Ian West School of Drums. Uh, today I thought we'd uh, do a tutorial on a, um, a grade six piece from the Trinity um, Rock and Pop syllabus. Uh, the track that we're going to look at is a famous, quite an iconic track. It smells like Teen Spirit by the one and only Nirvana and on drums Mr. Dave Grohl himself. And um, here we have the piece uh, transcribed written out for us and we also have the audio track contained within the book. So grade six is very important uh, grading for drums because it's it's A level standard. So um, if pupils are on a college course and they're studying music and they're playing drums as their main instrument, the grade six is the requirement at that level, okay, for AS and, and a second year of A level. So um, an important an important exam. Um, it's a great really popular piece but it's and it's very iconic but it's quite hard to play consistently because the beat it's a repetitive beat but as you can see um, there's a lot of semi quavers in there and offbeat notes so we're just gonna I'm just gonna take you through it and I'm gonna look at some of the important areas some of the factors that we need to to, to realize if we're gonna get if we're gonna pass this grade if we're gonna get the higher grades the merit and distinctions We've got to be um, we've got to be consistent with the beat. Okay, so uh, what I mean by that is, if we look at straight away at figure five, bar five, um, that's when the main groove of the song starts. So we have this. Okay, now I'm just going to focus the, the camera down to the drums so we can see what's going off there, okay. So there we go, okay. Right, so nice and slow. The tempo of the piece is about 117 BPM, so if you set a metronome up at that tempo, um, you can practice the consistency of this rhythm. Okay, so to get those higher marks, what the examiner is going to be look at, looking at, criteria for this is that consistency on that beat. So when I, what I say to my pupils when we're doing it, running our mock test before we take this at this uh, grade six exam, if they've chosen this piece, which usually they do, it's one of the more popular pieces, um, is that we have to play that that beat consistently. We can't play two bars good, one bar, the bass drum drifts, okay? Because if we're not consistent with our with our beat, we'll start, the marks, we'll start to lose marks on that, okay? And we don't want to be just scraping the pass, we want to be confident, okay? So that has to be the main criteria for this piece, that consistency within the rhythm, okay? Um, so uh, once we've got that in place, that we, what, what I do, this is how I teach here. So we get, we, I look at what the majority of the piece is. So 80% um, of the piece is that rhythm. So once we've got that in place, then we go go through, and I, we might look at the intro. And the intro again is quite, um, it's quite iconic because if I play this intro um, to someone, they usually can tell tell what song it is. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> Okay, now this is a linear pattern, okay? So what I mean by that is we've got the snare drum flam, the bass, the hi-hat, the bass, okay? All playing at a certain place over four semi-quavers. None of these voices are coming down at the same time. That's important. And that's quite tricky to get that to separate, especially in time up to speed. Now we've got into the um, verse, uh, and I just took you through that intro passage. We've got the three bars guitar intro, the main fill, and then the groove of the song. And if we look at the dynamic there, okay, it's fortissimo, okay, which is very loud. So we've got that impact of the piece starting. But then when we look at um, bar nine, our dynamic comes down 
to mezzo forte, which is moderately loud. So we need to come down there. And what I usually say to the pupils is tighten the hi-hat up so we haven't got the trashy hi-hat. Bring the volume and intensity down on that, okay? The examiner, especially at the grade six level, will be looking at how you um, interpret the dynamics and how you respect the dynamic of the piece. So if you're gonna play it all the way, up the same volume all the way through, you're not gonna get those high marks. So again, if you're looking for the merits and distinctions, you need to be playing, uh, respecting the dynamics on this piece. Okay, um, so we're there at the, at, um, at figure nine, the verse, we've got the verse start that's going to come in. And then when the vocal line comes in, it goes down to mezzo piano, which is moderately soft. So, and that's on bar 13. So over those first 13 bars, we have fortissimo, mezzo forte. So we have very loud, moderately loud, and mezzo piano, moderately quiet. So we have, that has to reflect, it has to 